Prayer, to cancel the plan of the enemy. Dearest Heavenly Father, we came into you this hour in the name of Jesus Christ. We came with a mouth and heart full of faith and thanksgiving unto you. For your word admonishes in Psalms 100 verse 4, that we should enter into your gates with thanksgiving, and into your courts with praise, and to be thankful unto you, and bless your name. For it is with joy that we can draw from you according to Isaiah chapter 12 verse 3, which says, Therefore with joy shall you draw water out of the wells of salvation. Thus Father, we come with thanksgiving. Thank you for the gift of life, health, energy, and strength in the name of Jesus. Dear Father Lord, as we engage now in prayers, I ask that you send us your spirit and your angels for the enforcement of our prayers, supplications, and declarations. In the name of Jesus. Also dear Father Lord, your Holy Spirit to guide us to pray according to your will. Send us also dear Lord, your protective angels to ensure that we are impregnably protected from every arrow of the devil and his accomplices. Father as we engage in prayer. I pray dear Lord, let storms and strikes rain like sand and heavy downpour in the kingdom of darkness. To the destruction of their evil altars, their machinations and programming and set at liberty all that are under their captivities. In accordance with your word of Isaiah 45 from verses 2 to 3 which says, I will go before thee, and make the crooked places straight, I will break in pieces the gates of brass, and cut in sunder the bars of iron. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness, and hidden riches of secret places, that thou mayest know that I, the Lord, which call thee by thy name, am the God of Israel. Therefore Father Lord, as we pray, send your angels to go into war for us, scattering every satanic stronghold and fortifications. And recover and restore to my listeners whatever the enemy the devil might have stolen from them. In the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father in the name of Jesus Christ, I ask for the power and strength for perseverance in prayer this hour, so that the enemy the devil can be easily routed and put to flight. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, in the name of Jesus, I send Holy Ghost fire and thunder against every demonic altar and stronghold responsible for the limitations and delays in the life of every one of my listeners in the name of Jesus. I demolish and break into pieces every padlock, chain, or whatever that is being used by the devil and his cohorts to chain, cage, or lock the destinies of my listeners. In the name of Jesus Christ, I send fire from above to raise into ashes every point of contact being used by the devil and his cohorts to cast spells or bewitch any listeners here, in the name of Jesus. I command and decree destruction upon every evil altar speaking vengeance against any of my listeners here. In the name of Jesus Christ, I turn into foolishness every counsel of Ahitophel, intended to bring down any of my listeners here, in the name of Jesus. I decree null and void every enchantment, every divination, every magic statement, and abracadabra with the intent of putting any listeners here to a disadvantaged position. In the name of Jesus Christ. Dear Father Lord, according to your word of Job chapter 22 verse 28, which says, that I shall also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto me, and the light shall shine upon my ways. I decree destruction against every entity assigned with the duties, to disparage, discredit, misguide or implicate any listeners here, in the name of Jesus Christ. For as it is written in Isaiah 54 15, and it says, Behold, they shall surely gather together, but not by me, whosoever shall gather together against thee shall fall for thy sake. Therefore Father, by the power and authority of your word, I decree and declare a nullity, every conspiracy, every enchantment, and programming to bring down any listeners here. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I decree and declare terminated every curse and causes of any health challenges in the life of every listener here, in the name of Jesus. For as it is written in Matthew 16 verse 19, And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. By the power and authority of this word, in the name of Jesus, I bind every power or forces responsible for your failures, misfortunes, delays, and near success syndrome, in the name of Jesus Christ. I cancel and counteract every enchantment against the life and business of every listener. 
here in the name of Jesus. For it's written in Numbers chapter 23 verse 23, that surely there is no enchantment against Jacob, neither is there any divination against Israel, according to this time it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel, what hath God wrought? Therefore in the name of Jesus Christ, I void every enchantment and divination against the life of every listener in the name of Jesus. And I cancel and counteract every curse trailing the life, destiny, and career of every listener here. In the name of Jesus. For it's written in Galatians chapter 3 verse 13. That Christ hath redeemed us from the curse of the law, being made a curse for us, for it is written, Cursed is every one that hangeth on a tree. Therefore in the name of Jesus, I cancel and counteract every curse in the life of every listener here and now, in the name of Jesus Christ. I command every storm and wave of crisis, sickness, and insecurity in the homes and locations of my listeners to cease now. In the name of Jesus. I command peace, be still, in the name of Jesus. Those whose health is ravaged by sicknesses and diseases, I decree healing and return of health and vitality unto them in the name of Jesus. For those whose feet have been pushed away from success, I decree a return of success and breakthroughs unto them, in the name of Jesus. For in your word of Joel chapter 2 from verses 25 to 26. Dear Lord you said. And I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall eat in plenty, and be satisfied, and praise the name of the Lord your God, that hath dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. Dear Heavenly Father, let there be restoration of whatever any listener here has lost, whether out of Satan's temptations or their personal weaknesses, in the name of Jesus. Give back to them dear Lord, double the chances and opportunities that they have missed to succeed, in the name of Jesus. For you promised dear Lord in Isaiah 61 verse 7 saying, For your shame ye shall have double, and for confusion they shall rejoice in their portion, therefore in their land they shall possess the double, everlasting joy shall be unto them. Dear Lord, let thus be the heritage of every listener here. Give them double in their promotion, profession, and in all their aspirations and inspirations. Give them reasons to rejoice and be happy in you. Let it be unto them after the order of Psalms 91. Because they dwell in your secret place, let them abide under your protection. Be their refuge and their fortress. Deliver them from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence. Cover them with your feathers, and under your wings, let your truth be their shield and buckler. Let them no longer be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. Even if a thousand falls at their side, and ten thousand at their right hand, let it never come nigh them. Let it be that, it is only with their eyes that they shall behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because they have made you their God, their refuge, and their habitation. Let no evil befall them, neither shall any plague come nigh their dwelling. Give your angels charge over them, to keep them in all thy ways. And bear them up in your hands, lest they dash their foot against a stone. Let them tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon without any hurt or harm. Because they hath set their love upon you dear Lord, deliver them and set them on high because they hath known your name. Whenever they shall call upon you, dear Lord, answer them, and be with them, even in trouble. Deliver them dear Lord and honor them with long life. Satisfy them and show them your salvation. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray. Amen. Kindly give us a thumbs up to like this video. It will help the video to reach more people. Are you new here? Subscribe, and leave the notification button on so that you will be notified whenever we release a new video. God bless you.